Hey, vintage bike enthusiasts, Joe Jackson here. I'm going to demonstrate how to trim the steer tube portion of an any cycle threadless conversion headset. Here I have the upper portion removed from the bike. I've got my two spacers installed and my, my stem pushed down tight on the spacers. First step I'm going to do before I forget, I'm going to remove the top cap portion. This way when I go to cut the steer tube, I'm not sawing through this long stud that goes down into the wedge at the bottom. Make sure my stem's tight on my spacers. I'm going to take a silver sharpie. I'm going to mark a line that's going to show me the top of my stem. I'm going to take Take this stem off here. I have the O-rings out of the spacers for now just to make them easier to slide on and off. I'm then going to take the top cap, which is roughly two and a half millimeters thick. I need to account for this going down inside of the stem so that it's flush with the top when I'm finished. I'm gonna take that cap I'm going to mark just below my line, roughly that thickness of that cap. So now I'm going to have my original line that I marked and the line below it. I'm going to verify that I've got about two millimeters there. I'm going to take that upper portion clamp it in a steer tube cutting guide, which is a standard cutting guide used for trimming threadless steers. Nothing, nothing special there. I'm going to get my mark aligned. Take a nice sharp hacksaw blade. portion. Now I have my squarely cut upper portion. I'll take a file real quick, clean up this upper edge. Cuts fairly smooth already. Take an X-Acto or a deburring tool. Let's get that inner edge as well. Okay. Looking pretty clean. Double check my fit. Put my spacers back on. Slide my stem back on. Install my top cap. Looking pretty clean now. I'll go reinstall the wedge. See the threaded studs long enough that no matter how short you trim the upper portion, you'll still be able to uh, fully re-engage the wedge with the threaded stud. If you'd like to save a little bit of extra weight, you can cut the last remaining bit of that off. And that's it. I can now put this assembly back on the bike, reset my headset preload, lock it in place, and go for a ride.